So some really exciting news coming out of Mid Journey. On their Discord, they've announced that they're hoping to release Mid Journey V5 this week. Now, if you've been following Mid Journey, that's the really exciting news. V4 was a huge leap over V3. So it's really exciting to see what V5 is going to bring to the table. So if you're a paying Mid Journey member, you can help rate images to help inform the style of Mid Journey V5. So there are a couple of activities they've released this week comparing very different images and comparing similar images. So we'll jump into that in a moment, but I'll just read through the post for a minute. You'll be shown two images at a time, select one that you like more based on your own personal taste. And this is kind of tricky because sometimes it's like comparing apples and oranges, they're very different images. So it's really hard to choose one, or maybe you don't like either. So I've struggled a little bit to choose which one I prefer and I'll show you in a bit what that looks like. So there are a couple of caveats here. Please note these images are not representative of the final V5 algorithms that will be released soon. The images are still kind of plain, boring, unopinionated to help the system learn its next style. You'll notice images are higher resolution, have better detail and are more stylistic than V4. And if you're worried about quality, check out images from the V4 rating party as a comparison to today's V4. So here are some of the V4 ratings they show. And I think they're not quite as good as the actual V4 ones that we're using. So if anything, that means the V5 images we're seeing, and they are a leap forwards, are not even representative of the quality we're going to see. So they could be even better. So they've got a couple of activities here. Activity one, comparing very different images, and activity two, comparing similar. So let's dive in with the different images. So one thing you'll notice is a more photographic style, almost realistic looking images coming through. There are still some issues with this image though. I can see a couple of hands here, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Some of the faces look a little bit distorted. It's not quite perfect. So a more painted image on the left or a slightly not safe for work image on the right. A cat and some vodka or lightsabers. A more photorealistic sort of ashtray, a more stylized image here. Notice we've got some text here. We're still not seeing perfect text coming through. That is one thing they talked about that might improve in version five. So look at this snail. It looks really hyper-realistic here. I love the reflections. Let's go with that. This is looking really good. There's some strange stuff going on in this cake but it's really starting to show a more photographic style. And I think that's something we're gonna to get to see a lot more in version five. A woman with birds or a dog with a can in its mouth. Again, it's, re it's really tricky to decide. I think I'll go with a dog here. It's kind of schematic of a gun or a sort of sketch style. Got a kind of janky set of glasses here with someone with three eyes or this more kind of anime style. This reminds me of maybe a sports team, the cartoon style. Again, very different styles, hard to decide between. I like this kind of film noir photography style here. I mean, I think this, again, this is a tricky one to judge. I like both styles, kind of like this slightly less filled in line art style a little bit more. Product photography and shots like that, interesting to see it veering to these kind of styles. So being a product designer, I'd like to see a lot more UI styles coming through. That'd be really interesting to see. Something it hasn't quite nailed in version four. The text again is a problem. These styles feel kind of similar. Now this one for me on the left feels a little bit kind of computer graphics, whereas this one on the right is really interesting. I love the colors and the composition here. Both these styles are really nice. I like the kind of complexity more on the left hand side. <laughs> How do we adjust between these two? Where do we even begin with this image on the left? I mean, for me, both have their merits, but I'm really interested in seeing more photography style coming through. This is really nice as well. I really like this one, I like the depth of field effect. I mean, on the left, I think we're getting to a point where we're gonna to start to struggle to understand whether something's been created by mid journey or it's a real photo. Interesting to see some pixel art come through. I'm always a fan of that. Look at the realism of this astronaut on the left hand side and I think he's got all his fingers and possibly an extra one going on. It'll be interesting to see logos and sort of SVG type graphics coming through a bit more. Again still seeing some slight issues with the hands here. I'm not quite sure how she's managed to get her hand in that position. Love this shot. Look at this. Still I think problems with the fingers but I really like the shot. The realism, the photography style coming through. These two are very different. I mean, while the image on the left isn't great, I do like the idea of these kind of product shots. They can be used a lot for kind of web design. Having it isolated on a white background is really interesting as well. 
I think Mid Journey really excels at these kind of images. I'm loving the style of this one. So we've got a cute 3D mouse on a snowboard or a kind of digital art style woman integrated with a machine. Again, really hard to decide. Loving this cat sucking some Asian food here. Both these images look awesome. Really hard to decide. So ginger couple on the right or explosion of colour on the left. Got an awesome image here of Darth Vader or a coral reef. This splatter art style here or more watercolour style on the right hand side. Some of these images are, are just fantastic. Loving the compositions here. It's so hard to decide between them. The realism here on the left hand side. I mean this is a beautiful image on the right hand side but I'm just really loving the kind of more realistic style. I think there's loads we can do with that. For me I'd like to see V5 take us in a more realistic direction. I'm just clicking through sometimes on impulse here. You may not agree with my choices but it's really hard to decide in some of these cases. Now this is really interesting because a guitar is something that's hard to get right. And I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six strings and the correct amount of frets and possibly the right amount of fingers. So we'll also have a look at comparing similar images. Now this is really interesting because it's going to hopefully be a lot easier to compare the two now. So we've got this Bitcoin on a wall or Bitcoin on a coin on a wall. And for me, the coin works slightly nicer. Here we've got two slightly different dogs howling in the flames. I prefer the more detailed image on the right. A cartoony fish or a more realistic fish. It's more of a giant on the left hand side. Quite like this right hand side one with the space feel. Highly detailed suit of armour. Both pretty similar to be fair. The right hand side slightly has the edge. Schematic drawings. Loving the vibe of these images. This, this evokes a kind of old school illustrative style. So again, I'm looking at the style here, but obviously there's some problems with the legs, but actually for, for me, the right hand side illustrative style is slightly nicer. Really interesting images. So there's some really interesting images. If this is the sort of thing we can expect in V5, I think it's gonna be really exciting to play with. I think it's a really nice touch as well that the community are helping to decide the style of V5. I think with this second task, I think they're really honing down that style. The images in some cases are so similar that it's really hard to decide between them. I like both. I'm loving the X Machina vibe here. So if you're a paying mid journey member, head to the announcements channel in Discord and you can have a go at ranking some of these images yourself. And it's great fun to play with, but as I've noticed, it's a little bit tricky sometimes to compare two images together. And you really have to think about what sort of style that you prefer. Having said that, the announcement says that mid journey version five is gonna be hopefully coming out this week. So fingers crossed for that. It looks like we're in for a much more advanced mid journey. It's been trained on more data and we're gonna see much more photorealistic images if some of these images we've seen are anything to go by. It'll be really interesting to see what what the overall style difference is compared to V5 and V4. Now, one thing we have noticed between each generation is that the quality has got better each time. If you compare to some of the older generations, they were much more basic, much more simplistic. So the complexity is getting better and better, which is why I think we're gonna see these much more realistic images coming through in V5. So that's it for now, but V5 is imminent, so that's super exciting. Hopefully this has given you a flavor of what's to come. My name's Paul, this has been Design Prompt, and I'll see you guys on the next one.